Uh, good day, YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to modify this uh, tick pedal. So this is how the pedal looks. It's just got a, a spring on it with a little micro switch that's right there. So when you press the pedal, it operates the switch. And then the resistor that uh, says you pe press the pedal down, it adjusts, which is a 10k resistor. So I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, this pedal comes with two wires that's attached to it. I already pulled the one wire out of you can maybe see that. So there's the one wire goes in there. That one over there is the three core wire and that's a, that's a two two core wire. So that one's just got brown and blue. The other one I've cut off here is three core, it's got a, a earth, a brown and a, and a blue wire. It goes to the resistor which is a 10k resistor and now to modify this pedal uh, I want to show you what I've, I've done I've cut the 3 core wire off and I've cleaned the two tips that goes to the resistor this other two wires just goes to, to the little micro switch which is that one there and that just operates as you're pressing the pedal you can see it makes contact there it breaks the contact. Make contact, break contact. So I'm going to show you um, how I modify this pedal and hopefully it's going to work. So this pedal's got two plugs on it. That's the three pin plug that goes to the three core wire, which is that one there. It goes to the resistor. And then the other one is the two core wire that just runs to the switch, which is this plug here. Now my welding machine only got a two pin plug, it's got no three pin plug and I need to modify this resistor so it can work on my tick welding machine. So now I'm going to try and show you if, it's, uh, if I can uh, focus properly. I'll try my best just got two hands and I've got to hold the camera so I'm going to take the brown and the blue leads and put it on this connector block just like that I'll tighten up the wires I'll tighten up both wires And then what I've got to do is I've basically got to cut just one of these wires off that runs to my welding machine. So I'll go and cut, doesn't matter which one you cut off, I'll cut a brown one off. Sorry for that. I'll try this, move it sideways. But I'll try and steady the camera. And I'll try and I'll split the wire. Damn. Just bear with me. So gotta clear this wire, just bear with me. So clear that one, that brown one there. And clear that brown one over there just like that. Now all we've got to do is basically put this resistor between these two wires. So that's got to go the one wire has got to go on the one side Just like that.
other wire will go to the blue wire. Just like that, then I'll tighten the screw up. Now we want to try and get a, a 10k resistance on the two pin plug that goes to the welding machine and hopefully she'll work. So we still got, now that I've done the connection there, as you can see, that comes from the micro switch, the brown wire, and that's going to the blue wire, which, which runs on a treacle wire to the resistor, which is on top there, the blue wire, and then we've got a brown wire that comes from the resistor, and that goes on to the other brown wire. So, when you press the pedal, this switch should activate, and then at the same time, this uh, resistor should operate as well and increase or decrease the resistance as you press it up or down. So, I'll get my multimeter out. I've got it set on 2K and I'll get a 2 pin plug if, and see if this is going to work or not so just bear with me, i just got two hands I haven't got a tripod to put the camera on and talk and do all the testing and cutting all at once so right so I've got the two prongs in, at the moment I'm getting no reading so now I'm going to press the, start pressing the pedal down and see if we get a reading. So we got about 9.18k. Pressing it further down, you can see it's dropping all the way, all the way, and that's the full power. So let's test this on a welding machine to see if this works. This is a how to modify a tick pedal that's got only two. Uh, pin connectors on the welding machine like I said I've got a uh, a MIG 220VZ and a Mashito which is these welding machines here and I only got a two pin plug there they haven't got a three pin plug like that's on the pedal and the same with the MIG 220BZ and also Again, it's got a two pin plug, and then your positive earth clamp, and your negative electrode clamps, and exactly the same with the CT312 on top here, which is thick, make, uh, thick MMA and a plasma cutting. So my bottom machine is a thick uh, MIG and MMA, which is uh, stick welding or arc welding as they call it. So they're both inverter MIG welders. And thanks for watching. Let's uh, test the pill with the next uh, one. Cheers. Yeah, good night YouTubers. I don't know if you can hear me, but um, they've tried to sing out now. So yeah, now I'm just going to press the pedal. There's my foot pedal there. And as you can hear, Just pressing it lightly. So let's try it out and see if this is going to work. That's too far. We're regulating it now. It's too far. And it seems to be working just fine. As I push the pedal down, it starts burning holes. I've got to set on about, for about 100 amps on a welding machine. And uh, I'll try and uh, do it again. So, there goes my foot on the pedal. Just lightly placing it.
that is, seems to be working just falling. That's too glass. As you can see, I'm basically cutting the cutting the steel. So yeah, it's working fine, working 100%. So if you guys who wants to uh, try and modify your tick pedal to make it work on your machine that's just got the two prongs on it, um, this is the way to go. Like I showed you, and like I showed you, mine's just got a two there. And um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. This is a $113 pedal, which you can probably make for around $20 if you can just buy the resistor and the, the switch on it and just uh, make a little arm on it. And that arm just pushes down on the resistor. And as you can hear, as soon as you press it down, it operates the switch and then the resistor kicks in and it makes you work um, from one uh, from 10k up to a full contact thanks for watching cheers hey Travis, I just want to show you this is my tick uh, tick gun with the, the tungsten tip on it that's a, a CQ 150 amp as you can see it's only got a gas line there or your line for your um, argon gas to flow through then it's got your switch which is your switch there it's just a make and break switch and at the moment I've got it currently attached onto the rolling machine now the wire is running onto the part there and as you can see uh, nothing's happening there's no wires on it but I don't know how it works. This switch is just attached and it bridges the two contacts on the rolling machine which is that little plug that plugs in there, the silver one or the chromium plated one. So I'm going to show you now that without any wires on this that's how the MIG works. That's amazing. So I'll turn the amps down at it and like I say there's no wires or anything it's just a port I don't know how it operates and that's it there we go amazing piece of equipment thanks for watching cheers hey YouTubers now I've got my pedal plugged in and as you can see uh, as I press it down the micro switch in there on my contact just underneath the pedals that switch there you probably hear the switch now I'm just going to hold the gun again there just the pedal and leaving the pedal Pressing the pedal in all the way. And leave the pedal. That piece of equipment. It seems like my modification has paid off. $113 later. But like I say, you can probably make this thing for about 20 bucks. Just buy a little switch and a 10k resistor and just hook it up the resistor in line with the micro switch and you should get about 10k between 10k and uh, full uh, uh, full power on, on, the, on the switch when you test it out thanks for watching I hope you come right with your modification if you need any questions just uh, send me a, a message and I'll try and help where I can thanks for watching cheers